1,500 metres to go. Oh, it's getting so exciting now, isn't it? The fight is on. Both fought position, absolutely critical, but they need the speed to be high. That's why Sarah Gigante's teammates are on the front driving it. They've been driving it for a long time. I haven't seen Sarah Gigante. She's hiding night. There she is. She's just started to come to the front now, but she's just lost her last teammate. And we spoke about maybe a little bit too early. They've burnt all their matches. It's left up to Gigante to do it on her own. And she's followed by Cecilia Uprut Ludwig. The great Dane is in with a chance for a great win in Sterling. Uprut Ludwig sitting in third spot. She's got Gigante in front of her. Amanda Spratt, she knows these roads as well as anybody else in the race. She did a recon of all of the courses, all of the stages back in December. She's here and ready to race. And she's out to win. Not just out to win this stage, she's out for number four. She's been a three-time champion of the Santos Women's Tour Down Under previously. The cream of the crop is starting to come to the fore. And look to the left of screen, it's Little Track being led out by uh, number 12. That's Brody Chapman. She's dragging Amanda Spratt through to the front. Just dropped her off. She's positioned her nicely under a kilometre to go. And a little bit further back, see the red colours on the left. Winner of the race overall four years ago, Ruth Edwards on the comeback trail, looking for the winner's circle again. You can see how hard they're working on this uphill climb. Rocking of the bodies. Oh, little nudge of the handlebars there. Held up nicely. This is Neve Bradbury now going to the front. Has she gone too soon? Mm. She's got another teammate further back. She's got Soroya Paladin, number 44. The Italian is fast. And they've just lulled, and this is right where a counter-attack can come. They're inside 500 metres to finish. Everyone's looking left and right. No one's committing yet. They know how hard this is. So close, but still so far. Bradbury on the front. Gigante behind her. Loretta Hansen opens up on the left-hand side of the screen, but she swings off. It's now Neve Bradbury leading out the sprints. Cecilia Uptrud Ludwig is also in the mix. Grace Brown has lost contacts. Uptrud Ludwig is ready to pounce. Here she goes. She opens up. It's Soroya Paladin who is behind her. Uptrud Ludwig is on a winner in Sterling. Paladin is still challenging, but Cecilia Uptrud Ludwig has got some breathing space and a celebration. Sensational Cecilia wins in Sterling. Well, we've talked about her all day. We didn't see her. She's one of your favourites, not just in the competition. Evita Music is the first one there to congratulate her. She also strong, she said, and yes, she is. Let's have a look at the replay here. Neve Bradbury, she loses a teammate. She's out front early and she knows she doesn't want to be there. She looks over her shoulder left and right and unfortunately lulls in the speed and that's when Ultrit Ludwig decided to make her move and the legs just carried her all the way to the end. Great celebration, fantastic form. Didn't see her. She hid really well throughout the entire stage and this was one to watch. F. Desjardins, who has a very, very strong team, and whoa, won it by bike lengths in the end. Not enough, though, by the looks of it, to create an official time gap. So Roya Paladin in second, Sofia Bertazzolo in third, Francesca Barale in fourth, and it was Heidi Franz in fifth spot from the Life Plus Wahoo team. And we've seen Ruby Roseman Gannon chasing the intermediate time bonuses throughout the day. Cecilia Ludwig, she didn't. She chased the stage. She got a 10-second time bonus. Yeah, um, plan A was to uh, sprint for Grace, and we actually had it all figured out and how we were going to do it, and I was excited about that. But then uh, Grace didn't feel so good, so uh, we had to change the plan. And then I'm just happy I could execute. Oh, that feels good. Yeah. Time to celebrate. It's good. Perfect way to kick off the season with the team. Yeah. It's, it's just so good being in Australia where my boyfriend comes from and taking a win. And yeah, it's just awesome.